In this video we're going to look at how to put a table in our website. This is the same website we had in the previous video. Uh, before we start with tables you should remember that to put a table in a website the only reason you would do that is if you needed a table in your website. So if you had a table of scores or a table showing different items or any time that you need a table is really the only time you should use a table in your website. In the old days we used to use tables to make the whole website so we used to put titles and images and links and buttons all inside a table. That's not done anymore. So let's get going with a table. Let's go down to where we finished off last time. We've got the image of the tree and to put in a table we start off with the table tag which is table like so. So our whole table is going to sit inside the table and the end table tag here. After you've typed in a table tag, you want to type in the TR tag, which is a table row. Let's press enter twice. And inside there, we are going to put a TD tag. And in this, we'll say first item. I'll press save, and you can see down below, we've got a first item, but we don't really have a table. So let's fix that. Go back to our table tag and put in a border of one press save and you can see now we've actually got a table here. It's not a very exciting table but it's a table. Let's go under first item and add a TD tag and call that second item. Press save. Now you can see how we're adding columns to our table. Let's put in a third one. And we'll call this one third item press save and you can see I've made a table with three columns. And what we're going to do now is go past the TR. So that's the TR which is a table row and inside that row is one, two, three cells or TDs if you like. Let's go underneath create a new TR and again go in there and say TD and then Underneath first item we'll say breakfast, press save. You can see how underneath the first item we've got a breakfast. So first item is breakfast. A new TD, lunch, and under that the third TD is going to be dinner. Press save and you can see how our table is now looking. First item, second item, third item and we've got breakfast, lunch and dinner. Now what would happen if we made a new TR and added four TDs? So in our first TD we'll put one. In the second one we'll put two. three and four. Now the thing that you want to think about is what happens when I press save now because we've only got one TD, two TDs, three TDs. We've got a TR going across here and a TR going across here. And what we've done is we've created a new row but this time we've added four TDs. That's four cells or four boxes. Let me press save and let's see what happens. So as you can see if we add more TDs it just sticks them in the table and it doesn't care about the ones above. So we can fix that by using a column span. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's just delete all of this. And what I want to do is I actually want to add a title to my table. Let's press save. There you go. So there's my table right there. I actually want to add a title. And what we're going to do is we can do that quite simply using a TR like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a TD but this TD, this cell, this box, we want it not just to be one box but we want it to kind of be one, two, three boxes long. And That's really easily done by putting in TD, going back and putting in the column span. And in this case we want the column span to be one, two, three wide. So I'm going to put in a three and say this is a title. Like so. Let's press save and you can see what's happened. That TD or that box 
doesn't just go for one box, it goes for one, two, three. That's the column span three. Now if I was to change the column span to two, you can see what happens. It only goes from one, two boxes. So if I do three, that means that's the whole table. It's a really useful way of making a table on a website and making sure that the boxes do exactly what you want. Now we have the border one over here, so that's a border of one. What happens if we put a border of ten? Let's have a look we get a really fat border. I would recommend that you don't do that and keep it at one and it looks way better. And that is how we make tables in websites. Really easy with the table tag, a TR for every single row and a TD for every single box inside our table. We use column span to make sure our boxes go exactly where we want them to go.